Cooler air on the way to central North Carolina, but should we be concerned about a frost just yet? I don't know. Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing has more. With all this talk of chilly weather incoming, let's take some time and talk about frost. So first things first, are we expecting our first frost this weekend? No, but it is around this time of year where we start to think more about it. So on average, our first frost in the triangle typically occurs between October 19th and October 27th, with some of our northern counties experiencing their average first frost closer to or even a little earlier than October 19th. Last year, depending on where you live, our first frost happened around October 18th and 19th, so not too far off of our typical average. But our first freeze last year didn't happen until the middle of November in the Triangle, and that's a little later than when it usually occurs near the end of October. We are definitely not talking about a freeze this weekend, but why aren't we talking about the possibility of frost? That's because when we're talking about chilly air, but not quite cold air. So the best conditions for frost are clear skies, light winds, a little moisture in the air and on the ground, and temperatures in the 30s. Yes, there may be some of us who have temperatures fallen to the upper 30s Sunday night, but significantly drier air is coming in behind this front and winds may be just a little too strong to allow any frost to form. Of course, if that changes, we will let you know. In the studio, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.